So I'm working on uh, 2002 up to 2006 uh, Sprinter. This is a uh, 2004. And as you can see, it's got an active code for glow plug module, excessive current, code 1482. Right now it shows stored because I disconnected it, but before it was showing active. Second code is glow plug number three, circuit short to voltage. <coughs> Although it could mean that it's shorted to ground or even disconnected. Number four, circuit short to voltage. This code wasn't on before. This code is there because I disconnected the module. So we're not going to worry about this one. So I'll show you how we can uh, quickly test all the glow plugs and the module. The glow plug module is partially hidden on the, on the bottom of the battery tray. Let's see if you, you can see it from here. Yeah. Right there. Partially see it. There's a two wire small plug right on the right. You have to disconnect to get access to the bigger plug that's in the middle with the five wires. Each of those wires go directly to the glow plugs. So we disconnect that one. I put it, it's nice and long so we can bring it up closer to us so we got more room. There's a 15 amp fuse hooked up in line it should be 12 gauge wires. So one side I'm gonna put directly to the positive battery and the other side see I fabricated a little pin that will not damage these terminals. So we're just gonna insert it there and I got directly on the other side of the fuse. <clears throat> so right now you can see that the circuit's complete because the power probe sees uh, ground. So right now I got ground. So now I'll give it power and if within 10 seconds the fuse doesn't blow, that means we got a good wire and we have a good glow plug. So here we go. Nine, ten. So we're good here. Now we can move next. Mercedes was actually so nice and they put the numbers corresponding to the cylinders right on the connector so you can see the wire closest to me is number one the black yellow is number two and uh, the black purple is number four okay so we got one two three four and five so here we go Glow plug number four. Start now. Uh oh. Just blow. So I got a problem with number four. So I have replaced uh, number four, number four glow plug. As I could not find anything wrong with the harness. I basically measured resistance between the glow plug. When I, I disconnected basically here, like on number three, I measured the resistance between here and between here. And the resistance is the same for all the wires. I have no short to power, no short to ground. So the wire is good. So it had to be the glow plug. 
even though uh, I just replaced the GoFlux yesterday. And it is the, uh, it is the, as you can see, it's the Mercedes GoFlux, so it's the right stuff for it. Anyway, so I hooked it up. I got it to number four, and uh, hopefully it was the glow plug only, and uh, it will pass the test. All right, good. Ten seconds, and it passed the test. So we had a bad glow plug, so I have to go uh, and warranty this brand new glow plug. And I still have to replace the number three glow plug. But of course, it's not coming out. So I'm gonna have to wait until I uh, warm up the engine to full operating temperature. That will expand the theory behind it is that the heat will expand the threads inside the head and the glow plug should come out easier because I don't want to break the glow plug inside the head as that would cost the customer another 300 bucks probably to to extract the broken glow plug from, from inside so so I'm gonna keep this one disconnected because uh, if you have a shorted glow plug, you can actually damage the controller for the glow plugs. Okay, now as you can see, I only have one code. So I fixed uh, the 2140 or 2040, was it? Code for the uh, glow plug module. Uh, excessive current so that one's gone and the glow plug number four circuit is also gone so now I only have one code because I have another bad glow plug that I cannot take out I have to start the engine and run it to see if I can take it right. out this is the brand new glow plug that's bad See how, how many ohms I have. See, it shows 0 0.8 of ohm, which doesn't really tell me that the glow plug is shorted. Okay, that's why it's so important to do the test with the power and the 15 amp fuse. Uh, let's try this other one. That the one that's still good, that didn't have no code for. I think that's was from number one. Well, this one has a little bit higher, 1.0, 1, 1. 1.1. It doesn't really, you know, 0 0.8 or 1.1 ohms. It's not a big, that's not a whole lot of difference. 